Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Fibbin Time with T. I've had a lot of su suggestions from you guys and today we're going to do an introduction of all my animals. Now I'm not an expert on reptiles, amphibians, or aquatics, but it's a huge hobby of mine and I'll be posting updates, tips, and all kinds of videos on the animals that I do own. First, we're gonna start with the white tree frogs. Now for this next part, I'm probably gonna get peed on by at least two of the frogs. Now this is Lime. He's definitely one of the bigger boys that we have. He gets pretty loud <laughs> in the morning time. He likes to get going and then he gets his friends and they're going. Okay, this is Wasabi. It's probably our smallest white tree frog that we own. He's pretty cute. It's actually a girl. I don't know why I'm saying he. But yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty cute. She's pretty quiet, but yeah. She's pretty chill. She doesn't usually pee on me like the other boys do. I've noticed it's mostly the boys that like to pee on me. Got her big derpy fat rolls over here, you can see. Now when you hold frogs, their skin absorbs anything that they touch. They breathe and they drink through their skin. So normally you'd wanna wear gloves. I just washed my hands thoroughly and sprayed them down with dechlorinated water, so this is actually okay. White's tree frogs are one of the only frogs that I wouldn't say they like to be held and it's good to hold them, but they can be handled and they're probably the chillest ones to handle. As you can see, Wasabi is not trying to get away from me right now. He's just chilling or she's just chilling. She might try to jump on me, maybe on my shoulder, my face, maybe the camera, I don't know, but yeah, she's, she's pretty. Those big eyeballs. Okay guys, you missed that, but as soon as I went to go put Wasabi back in her enclosure, she decided to jump from my hand to the chair while peeing on me twice in the process, but we got her back in there. The other boy and girl that we have in there, um, Lemon and Matcha, they're both sleeping and I don't want to bother them, so I'll show them in the next video most likely. Okay, so this next guy is not what you typically expect when you think of a frog. This is our Pac-Man frog, Chunk. He's maybe five months or so old. These guys like to bury in the dirt and they kind of just sit and wait for their food to pass their face. Hence the name Pac-Man frog. They have a huge mouth and they basically just look like a body with a big mouth on it. This is him. He's stunning. He's, he's got an awesome pattern on his back, if you can see it right there. But yeah, he, um, he doesn't really do much. He just digs himself in the dirt, and sometimes you don't see him for weeks, <laughs> weeks on end. And he'll just sit there, and when he's ready to eat, he pops his little head back up out of the dirt. Right now, I just have him out. I'm giving him a bath here, letting him soak. Hope I don't want him to fall. I'm going to stick him back in here, because he doesn't really like to be out of his enclosure but you can see him sitting in there he's probably not too happy that i have him out right now but he's doing good he's been eating eating a lot lately he kind of went into estivation for about a month and we were worried he wasn't going to make it because we had just recently got him before that so but he's eating good and he's growing good now for these next couple animals, um, I can't really take them out to show you. Um, I have some American tree frogs, uh, a long-tailed lizard, uh, and a knoll. Um, those guys are just too quick and I don't want to lose them because we do have a cat. Um, so I'm going to just film them from inside their enclosure. And then um, the other animals that I have are fully aquatic, so they obviously have to stay in there aquarium so here we have the zoomed mini paludarium i believe it's 12 by 12 by 24 inches tall um, in the bottom here we have three guppies two males and one female which is pregnant so we are expecting some fry to be showing up shortly uh, we also have three um, African dwarf frogs down here as well. 
Right, and usually they're out front, but right now they seem to be kinda hiding out. Yeah, I guess we're not gonna see them today. That's a bummer. Uh, we also have a beta in here, but he likes to hide right inside this little rock. So if he comes out, I'll try to catch him on camera. Up here, for the land slash arboreal section of the paludarium, we have a long-tailed lizard named Terry, which he is right here. He is a great eater. He's very social. He likes to come up to the glass and kind of check out what you're doing. Um, there in the back, we have one of our American tree frogs. That one we have not named yet. We got him most recently. We have two babies in here. One is a, directly above him. That's Doc. And we have another baby in here named Hallie, but I am not seeing her. And I guess we'll have to catch her in another video as well. But here we have Pickles the Green and Knoll. He's chilling on the wire like he always is. He's kind of shy. He doesn't really like to Let's see if I get this to focus. He doesn't like to um, come out and be social when people are around. Okay, and here we have a 20 gallon long aquarium. This houses my three oxalotls. They're all kind of sub adult. Here we have. That's a good shot. This is Camo. He is a GFP wild oxalotl that is the color variation name he's not actually wild caught he's got some long frilly gills so maybe he'll come over here as you can see they're very derpy they run into the sides of the aquarium and all kinds of goofy stuff like that over here we have bali he is my oldest oxalotl that i own we got him about six months ago. He's growing very good. Let me pop the top off here. Yeah, he is a melanoid variation. He's kind of a grayish black. It's kind of hard to see with the glare there, but he's very friendly. He likes to come up to the glass a lot when you're watching him. These guys love to eat too. Here is Camo. He decided to come over and say hi. He's definitely the most social out of all of the oxalotls that I have. It's kind of funny. He has a little crooked fin right there. It's kind of kind of hard to see over there. It's actually a gill, my bad, not a fin. Yeah, it's bent like at a 90 degree angle. See, if you look at his eyes, they glow that greenish color. That's the green fluorescent protein that he has. If you put him under a blue light, he actually kind of glows like a glow stick kind of color. I do have one leucistic type oxalotl. Her name is Vanilla. I say it's a her, but we don't actually know that for sure. Um, I believe she's hiding, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw some food in there and see if maybe we can get her to come out. So I couldn't find Vanilla, but it turns out she's over here hiding on the side. But yeah, there she is. She is absolutely beautiful. She is like a pure white color with some small freckling hair on her face. I wish she would come out so we can get a better look at her, but Oh, maybe she's going to. She is the smallest one that we have right now. Yeah, I threw a couple cubes in there. I usually thaw them out before I put them in there, but they'll tear them up either way. There she is. She is by far my favorite one. She is so cute. And finally, this here is my last pet, Pets. This is my five gallon aquarium. I kind of did it as a little project. Just wanted to see what we could get in here. We way overstocked it at first and now we've cut it down. We have seven neon tetras in here. 
this mystery snail, and two pandacory catfishes. This five gallon is actually not the recommended size for quarry cats, but once they grow out, we'll be putting them into a larger aquarium. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out my video. Like, comment, subscribe. In the next video, we do have a surprise, something we actually just picked up today, but I want to keep you guys coming back, so we're going to put that in the next video. Thanks. Bye.